In this video, we're going to look at twin primes, what they are, and we're going to look at some examples of twin primes. The first thing to do is remind ourselves what exactly a prime number is. So a prime number has exactly two factors, two numbers that will divide into it without giving any remainder. And these are always going to be one and the number itself. So for example, two is a prime number because it's got two factors, one and two, hence it's prime. The number six on the other hand, that's got four factors. We can divide it by one, two, three, and six without giving any remainder. So that's not prime. One thing that often confuses people is the number one. Well, that's only got one factor itself. So we say that one is not prime. Now we've looked at what prime numbers are, we can look at twin primes. So a twin prime is a number that is two above or below another prime number. So for example, three and five, they're both prime numbers. They've got a gap of two between them, hence they are twin primes. Five is also a twin with seven. Five is the only number that is twinned with two other numbers. The next pair of twins are 11 and 13 and 17 and 19. So all of these are pairs of prime numbers with a gap of two between them. We can find larger prime twins, 821 and 823 are both prime with a gap of two. 827 and 829 are twins, 857 and 859, as are 881 and 883. Interestingly, there are no twin primes in the 900s, so these four pairs here are the largest ones that are three digits. As with most things relating to prime numbers, mathematicians love trying to find the largest examples possible. And the largest known twin primes currently are 2,996,863,034,000 and 8,895 times by two to the power of a million 290,000 plus and minus one. Okay, so these have got a staggering 388,342 digits. Those are massive prime numbers and they are the largest known ones. Interestingly enough, nobody's completely sure if there are an infinite number of twin primes. Are there any larger than these ones that have just been found? Or do they stop at some point? Nobody's proved it one way or the other. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.